Hi everyone, Alsa Davis here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're in my garden filming some exercises you can do with a towel to improve your golf game. And it's actually going to work on a few different areas in your golf game. So one great exercise, or well not one great exercise, three exercises with a towel that's going to improve your golf swing whilst you're stuck at home like I am in quarantine. Keep watching to learn how. So as I said, today we're going to look at some towel exercises and if you are a new viewer, please consider following and subscribing. I post three videos a week. Again, at the moment, some of them are going to be coming from my garden. I am going to try and do some various different things to keep it a little bit fresh. But obviously, all the golf courses here in England at the moment are closed, so I can't get to a golf course to do any filming. So anyway, back to today. Today we're looking at towel exercises. So we're going to look at a towel exercise that's going to help you shallow the club, externally rotate your trail shoulder in the downswing, we're going to look at a towel exercise that's going to give you a better rotation and turn and width in your golf swing. And an exercise that's going to help you stop flipping through the golf ball. And lastly, we'll add one fourth bonus one in there. We're going to look at one that's going to help your sequence and speed through the ball. So the first one, if you take a split grip with the towel, so lead hand face down, trail hand face up. And if we go to the top of your backswing, and what I want you to think about here is, if we were to basically rinse this towel, and if we think about what we're trying to do with the shoulder, we're trying to get the arm to do this, think about how the trail wrist works here. So we're increasing the extension in the trail wrist. So if we look to rinse the towel this way, we are increasing the extension in our trail wrist and externally rotating our shoulder. So what I want you to do is from the top of the backswing, Feel that happens as we start down. And what that's going to start to do is get your elbow into a better position as well as we come into this impact zone. So this one drill gives us the kinesthetic feelings of moving our trail arm more correctly to allow the elbow to work better, the wrist to work better, and the club to shallow. So what I'd recommend is you get in the garden and do lots and lots of reps doing this to feel that shape. And I can already feel my rotator cuff here in my trail shoulder that doing something different to normal. So you will feel it pretty quick. The second exercise is all about width. So again, same setup with the towel. Make a backswing, feel that like we turn our rib cage and our mid spine, keeping the towel engaged. If the towel goes soft, my arms are going to come in. So we're looking to keep in the structure. It's going to allow us to keep the trail arm a little bit straight as we do this, but it's also going to put the focus more on rotating with the mid spine and the rib cage. So most golfers I see would have more of a collapsed lack of structure in the arm and a lack of turn in the body. So this drill is really going to focus on the correct turn and the correct width and structure in the arms all in one go. But once we've done that, the next phase then would be to feel that we maintain that through impact. So if I maintain that through impact, I'm not going to get my arm thrown away. If my arm throws away, the towel goes limp. So to keep the arm working across my rib cage here, exiting more left, round the corner, taking the hands out of it again so the hands work, the towel becomes slack. And again, you can feel this in your body. You can feel the muscles in my back working differently to normal. So this is definitely not what I would normally do 100%. This is at a higher level of intensity and a better level of purpose, I would say, than I would normally do, okay? Those would be the three key ones for me. Now the last one's gonna be all about sequence. So when it comes to sequence, I want you to get an object you can hit. I've got just a rod here. Now you could use garden furniture, you could use a wall. So I'm trying to give you stuff to do here that you'd have the equipment to do at home but I'm to worry about getting out to a golf course or a range. And quite simply, what we're looking to do here is take a normal kind of golf stance and golf grip, take a backswing, and on a downswing, we're looking to hit this as hard as we can. And I'm going to do one in a minute and hit it hard because it's going to fall over once I do it. Now, if I do it with arms, there's very little power there. So the noise level into the object is going to change. So we want to create as much noise as we can. And doing it correctly, we're going to move our sequence correctly, so our lower half, then our trunk, then our arms, then the towel. 
golf club in terms of what it would normally be. So it's going to improve that sequence for us. Let's go ahead and do it. So we are looking for you to go as fast as you possibly can. Probably reps of five or ten. Get a little bit of your heart rate going. Get a little bit breathless when you're doing it. Again, use a wall, use a towel, um, use a, a slide, use garden furniture, whatever you've got. I've got my son's slide there, which I'll show you a clip of me using my son's slide doing it. Anything you can do it with will help you get that feeling of speed and kind of sequence and flow. So there you have it. A few drills to do with the towel. You can do it indoors or in the garden or on the patio, whatever you've got, or balcony to help improve your golf swing. Working on external shoulder rotation, width and turn, taking the hands out and speed and sequence all in one little sequence. What I would recommend is you probably do 10 reps of each and do that as a nice warm up before then you go ahead and hit balls into a net or plastic balls in the garden like I'm going to do a few videos of doing that as well. So if you've enjoyed today's video, please click like and share the video. Really appreciate if you do that. Also, if you want to be featured on the channel as a swing review, that's something I'm looking to do while we're at this uh, lockdown phase at this moment. So if you want to do that, send me your swings to hello at adavisgolf.com with a bit of a brief of uh, your kind of goals and what you want to try and change with your ball flight. That'd be ideal. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit my logo down this bottom corner. Join me in my journey. And let me help you improve your golf and lower your scores. So thank you for tuning in today. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for the support in these difficult times. Make sure you stay safe and take care.